Punitive damages can be awarded to punish the defendant for harming the actual plaintiff or plaintiffs before the court. But what about non-party victims? The United States Supreme Court answered this question in the 2007 case, Philip Morris v. Williams. From the early 1950s until his death from smoking-related lung cancer in 1997, Jesse Williams smoked as many as three packs of Marlboro cigarettes a day. His widow sued Philip Morris, the maker of Marlboro cigarettes, in an Oregon state court for negligence and deceit. The jury found that smoking caused Williams's death, that he smoked partly because he thought it was safe, and that Philip Morris knowingly and falsely led him to believe that smoking was safe. The jury ultimately found that Philip Morris was negligent, as was Williams, and that Philip Morris engaged in deceit. With regard to deceit, the jury awarded $821,000 in compensatory damages and $79.5 million in punitive damages. However, the trial court found the punitive damages award excessive and reduced it to $32 million. The Oregon Court of Appeals reinstated the award of $79.5 million. It held that Philip Morris's conduct endangered thousands of other Oregonians and that this conduct was reprehensible enough to warrant the larger amount. The Oregon Supreme Court affirmed, and Philip Morris appealed to the United States Supreme Court.